Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Rufara, I hope that you're all doing well. Today I'm so excited, I've got my girls here with me. We're talking about managing finances um, between couples, particularly married couples. And this, this is one of the topics that kept on popping into my inbox and I was thinking, I can't do this by myself. Like there's so much that goes into it and every marriage is different. There are different things that people are doing out there, different strokes for different folks. And I think that um, having a different perspective definitely would be important in this type of situation. And I guess that's how we're going to be doing it. So I'm going to ask them to introduce themselves. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you'd like us to continue to do content like this and have discussions like this, please like, share, and then let me know in the comments as well. So ladies, please introduce yourself. We'll start with Lorraine. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Lorraine Chizdiwa. Um married and i have three daughters um i am a, i'm employed full-time i'm a marketer by profession and i'm working in the hospitality industry so i'm holding a full-time job i also have um, a side hustle um, as you like to call it i'm passionate about baking and um, i recently rebranded my baking business to three cakes um, i'm at the moment, since uh, we're in lockdown here in South Africa, I'm taking time to re-strategize and do a lot of baking, which I don't normally have time to do whilst I'm working. All right. Hi, guys. How are you? Um, I'm married. <laughs> I've been in marriage for two months. <laughs> wow. So I can't compare myself to <laughs> I'm newly married, actually. <laughs> Okay, and okay. I'm employed and I, I have a business. I own a business called Duque, where we sell accessories like the one that I'm wearing headbands, okay, head wraps, and earrings. And I, I also started a project uh, called Kewami, where you know, we provide services like um, gifts for anniversaries, for birthdays. And yeah, that's basically okay. it. Hi, I'm Lisa um, Tika. I love to take it to natural. I love to present myself, yourself, by identity. That's me. Um, I'm a mother of two. My, I work for Research Council. I'm a profession, a communicator. I want to empower women to know about themselves, to share ideas, wow. and um, to know things that are limited, basically, for them. So, guys, when it comes to being married, before we even say, okay, you guys are married and everything, what are some of the important discussions that you guys had with your partners or that you feel that people, before they get married, they need to really uh, sit down and talk about when it comes to managing finance? When I was dating, I would ask um, if my boyfriend has a debt, you know, because sometimes, you know, it can affect you guys when you get into marriage. It can really affect a lot of things. That's you know, I would also ask, yes, and also I would also ask if he's the breadwinner, you know, because it's also okay. very important if if the immediate family members, you know, uh, just ask only if they depend only for money from him only, you know, if they don't have a source of income, it's also very important because you might budget, you know, your finances without even involving this and it might affect your marriage as well, you know. And also if we are going to join our accounts or if he's just going to be the provider and I'm just the helper, you know, <laughs> <laughs> things okay, like okay. that. Because it's very important. You need to know if he's just going to provide or he believes that you sh it should be half-half. Okay. But what did you want? Yeah. You know, in your case, did you want to, you know, to continue to work and also be able to contribute to the table? Or you were comfortable, you know, letting him... Um, take over and just do what he can. No, as for me, I, I I believe I'm the helper. According to my beliefs, you know, okay. I believe I'm a helper. I'm financially independent, but I want him to be on the forefront and then I pitch in where I pitch in. 
but of course i'll be contributing you know okay. i just don't want to be there sitting and saying no oh i need a b c d no no it's not like uh, that uh, okay for me um the, that that question I actually laughed when you actually brought it up because we have this um, <laughs> uh, in most scenarios um, issues finance we tend to overlook them because uh, when you are dating it's like you are bound blindfolded you you mm. want the love to flow you you yeah. overlook issues of finance that's so true um, that makes sense yeah that's the reality. We overlook the, the that when you then get into marriage are the key aspects. I think um, if I had to say, I, I, I agree with um, what Doreen said. And, and then at the same time, I also kind of agree with what Lisa says in that we never really, especially for some of us who have been married for a longer time, we are, um, we are kind of different from the girls or the younger girls. The younger girls are now very upfront. Younger girls are like very, to, yeah, that's true. Yes. <laughs> now very upfront. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, straight up. I've even heard situations. Some girls will say, "You, you tell me you've got a first degree." I'm giving an example. You tell me you've got a first degree. Can I see the actual certificate? They are now more upfront. Yes. We used to just oh. say to a relationship. And never ask the hard questions. Yeah, the hard questions come when you're now first day in the home, you want to do your groceries and you have to uh, do your groceries and then you realize you also need to do groceries for two or three different homes. You know, mm -hmm. and, and now it's like, what is Things this? So, change. Yeah. so it's important to ask the difficult questions, not to say you're asking the difficult questions because you want to, you want to see if I want to leave this man, maybe I should leave him. And go for another one. No, it's not rosy anywhere else. The challenges are more or less there. But you need to ask the difficult question so that you know what you're getting yourself into. You don't have nasty surprises. Yeah. So now when you're married, like based on what you guys have been through in your marriages, what have you seen to be the best way of managing finances? Having a joint account or having a separate account? What works for you guys? For us, we... Mm -hmm. we, we initially got advice you know when you don't know you ask around and uh, we had all the people telling us you know this the couple should do this and we realized that there's no one size fits all for couples mm -hmm. we tried we tried the joint account thing and the next thing we were choking each other like and we realized this will not work we will separate <laughs> our account <laughs> <laughs> and we, I like them. How to choke it up? Yeah, we were practically sitting like, oh, how can you? No, no, no. Because sometimes you find the scale tips to one side. So mm -hmm. we agreed that it will not work. So we decided we'll do separate accounts, and we work from there. The issue of finances. Uh, we didn't try the joint account. We took the earlier Doreen's approach that that we have the breadwinner and I'm the helper. I think that that was the the thing that uh, we we put in place in our in our scenario. So okay. it was the breadwinner and the helper. And being the helper, you have your roles. Uh, if we have rent, we have food, we have um, a salary wages for the maid, the school fees for the children. That's then as a helper, you take those lighter things that then go in line with you. That is if, if you are the helper. But we never had the, the joint account. So like when it now comes to, you know, uh, the daily necessities, like when you've got groceries and you need to buy bread and milk, how do you then split and make sure that it's not just one account that's um, maybe using up all the funds or it actually works better if it's that way. How, how are you guys doing it? Our accounts are separate. So what we do is I just say, oh, we need bread, you know, because he knows he's the provider and I'm the helper. <laughs> and if he doesn't have, he's not shy to say, <laughs> if he doesn't have, he's not shy to say, you know, like, you know, we, we need, I don't have the money. And then I can just pitch it, 
you know and oh, then okay. you know buy the bread and the you know and the milk etc okay That's for it. us we actually have two separate accounts for that so um, we've got an account which is mine, and that's the one that caters for the groceries. So whatever amount is in there is the one that caters for all the monthly cost. And then if that money is finished, then I know I've been irresponsible during the course of the month. And it's actually been very help. It's actually helped us a lot because sometimes I get excited and I spend things and I buy things that are not on the budget. So when you make an allocation to say this month we're spending, um, if it's one thousand rand or one hundred years, whatever it is specifically for groceries, then I know that this account is the one that covers for any other daily expenses. Anything else outside of that, then it's now going into a different account. You need to sit down and talk about it. Well, that's how we've been doing it. Yeah, I think uh, for us, what, uh, what, what has helped is having, we all know that we have the daily expenses like bread and milk, like you're saying. I think bread, milk, maybe, I don't know, eggs. I don't know. It depends how people do groceries. Yeah. So, yeah, those yeah, fruits, the perishables. And so you have, um, at, at the end of the month, you have a budget to say this is how much we need. It's an approximation, um, yes. which will buy us, let's say, yeah, let's say 30 loaves for the month. You know what I'm saying? Because you know you're going to need bread. We have a certain amount allocated to that expense. Um, and um, with us, it's not like, um, oh, you know, we all we all we have that that money we put aside. Some of it comes from me. Some of it comes from my husband. I don't mind putting that money there because I know I don't. I mean, I know that I want things like you know extras. So if any if anyone needs to, if we need to buy bread or whatever, whoever is able to go out or drive by the shops, as was the that account has two cards. So you oh. just buy from that account. Yes, that's so true. So, how do you guys track your finances? Do you have like a worksheet or a mobile app? Was we've got an Excel sheet? That's what we're using to track, you know, our expenses and stuff like that. I was is on um, Excel, like you. I think we're maybe pedantic like you as well, but it doesn't track up to the last cent. No. Oh yeah, it's of the most important it's the, Yes, it's, a, it's just for the important things like school fees, rentals, bill, electricity. Uh-huh. Uh, whatever accounts, yeah. The rest, sometimes, you know, we'll let her say, how come you're saying you're broke? Where's that? You know, how come you don't even have understand? What did you do with the rest of your money? <laughs> but we try to, we try to follow. So does one person handle the finances? Like, um, in our case, um, my husband is the one who's really into numbers. So he's the one who tracks and, you know, and then let us, like, let me know whether we're out of budget or not and stuff like that. Or everyone has got like, you know, access to all the accounts and all the statements and you just sort of help each other to track the finances. For, for, for us, it's, um, it's more like who handles the accounts <laughs> because he, in my scenario, I only, I, um, I have my own, um, my own items that I should have made, the gardener and then um, and the DSTV. Those are my roles. That's that's how we do it. You, you, we, we, we don't have like a spreadsheet, but it's from your savings or from your from your income. You have to pay your pipe. You have to make sure the garden is paid, the maid is paid. That's basically my roles. And um, anything else that then goes beyond that, like what you're talking of groceries, is just like every month, every week. It's his responsibility. I don't mingle into his um, his pocket directly, but I mingle into it by just uh, saying if something has gone out. Because um, we realize the minute that uh, um, I try to take out of every dollar, we then have this stressful pressure within us. Where did this one? Where, where did this amount go? Or this one? But if um, we are all adults, that one plays a role in maintaining sure that the family is well provided decide how much you have to spend on that as well.